All right, welcome, welcome to this Wicked Woman Wednesday edition of Liquid Lunch on Biz TV. I'm John Tobacco. We're coming to you live as we do every single day from the Corona Bunker Studios right here in my living room in Staten Island, New York. And uh, lots to break down in the business world, lots to break down in the markets, lots to break down in entertainment today. We're going to have quite the entertaining day when we have uh, model, actress, and uh, now investigative reporter Zen Sams joins us uh, in just a few minutes. And uh, in hour two, Lisa, the love coach, Concepcion, is going to talk to you about how to get yourself straight coming out of quarantine and how you can uplift yourself and your love life. And then... Uh, Uplifting your entertainment game is the host herself of the Red Carpet Rendezvous podcast. Lauren Conlon is going to join us in an hour or two and talk to us about uh, what's good in the movies, what's good on Netflix, and what's not good in Hollywood as this uh, continued conspiracy theory of Pizzagate perpetuates itself. But uh, all that's for later. For now, let's talk about the markets. Uh, had a wicked good day yesterday. Market right now at 26.7. Um, it got itself above that 26,000 number, as I mentioned. And uh, when it closes above a round number, that's usually a good sign for programmatic trading uh, platforms. And uh, now at 26.7, you have uh, the White House is uh, coming out a lot stronger now, saying that uh, both uh, Moderna and another company are uh, making great strides with uh, vaccines. They're expanding it now to uh, 2,400 people in a, in a new uh, human test. And uh, half of them will be given uh, the, the vaccine, half of them won't. We'll see how that works. And uh, continued evidence bubbling to the top that, lo and behold, hydroxychloroquine does work. And uh, a new study just came out saying that uh, like 65% of the people who were given it early in higher doses it actually had a prophylactic effect, so it had a uh, protective effect on uh, preventing the virus or preventing the symptoms from being super strong. There are spikes in a lot of states. You got Texas, you got Florida. These are states that originally said they weren't doing anything, but at the same time, you have uh, all kinds of reports coming out that the uh, return ratio on positives is like 100% in Florida that they're mixing up some of the tests. Some of the tests they have are uh, antigen tests are positive. They're recording them as positive for COVID. Uh, so a lot of craziness going on. Um, but if you're like me, the main craziness is we got to break down this whole Antifa Black Lives Matter movement. And I'll say it again. Black Lives Matter, the sentence is right on the money, okay? The movement, hashtag, capital Black Lives Matter, um, that's not for us. Those people are telling you straight out, do a little homework, two Google searches, put in Black Lives Matter founders, Marxists, and you will find videos of them saying we are trained Marxists. That's what they are. And if you do a little more homework and say uh, Karl Marx, nuclear family, simple Google, um, you'll find that uh, in the manifesto of things that Marxists believe in, it is uh, the no lack of need for a patriarch in the home and the complete breakdown of the nuclear family. So Joe Biden did another press conference with teleprompters yesterday. All the questions were already telegraphed. He was actually calling on them by name. Oh, um, I believe it says here that uh, Christine from NBC has a question for me. Um, and you know he's got the question, and you know they got the answer in the teleprompter. But uh, everybody's screaming about Trump in the Rose Garden, but uh, it's no better roses for Joe Biden every time they bring him out of hiding. And uh, it's going to be a bed of roses for you right after this when Zen, Zen Sams joins us to talk about a not-so-gleeful situation. Back in just one minute. 